Now friends, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and um, something, um, something a bit different for you today, something a bit informative today, hopefully, rather than just rambling. Um, so I won't muck around, we'll get straight into it. I'm doing the OT hammer uh, for my Beast Lord, because, you know, I've been in a couple of dungeons recently where he kind of gets stuck. Uh, and I'm going to go through, this is going to be a guide on how to do that. Um, so basically what, you, what, you, what, we, what we're going to be doing is there's a couple of, there's a quest uh, that we need to do to raise our faction with the OT, um, uh, you know, kind of, what's it called, what would you call it, uh, the OT settlement, we'll say. So what we're looking for are these Sarnak War Braids. You get them from killing Berserkers, uh, Sarnak Berserkers. It's 100% drop, they always drop one. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've been doing um, to get them. I've currently got, uh, what have we got? So yesterday I turned in 41 and it took my, um, it took my, it's Venral Saphir faction. Uh, so it took my faction from apprehensive to indifferent. You need amiable. So I'm hoping like another 41 roughly. I think what we're going to have is 42 at the end of this. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that that will take us to amiable and then we can do the turn in to get to get the hammer so i'm standing at the well there's, there's like a there's like a valley here that leads to frontier mountains but I'm, I'm looking north from the frontier mountain zone line um and over here it's kind of like north northeast um there is a location if you look on the the wiki um either the p99 this is on tac p but you can do this on p99 or tac p if you look at the wiki um look at the map for the over there you'll see a location that's number eight and that's where the uh, yeah, that's where the loca that's that's where we're going to now. Sarnak berserkers kind of roam all around here, really. So you could look, um, you could look around here and kill some on the way. Uh, that's what I do if I come across them. Um, most stuff is aggro here, so it can be annoying. And I've done this pretty quick. Like yesterday, I got forty-one braids in a very very short space of time. Um, but I'm level fifty-four, and I'm using my level fifty-four pet, who basically solos all this stuff on his own but there are a lot of aggro mobs around so you've got to be careful of that um so this is like the number eight location there's a few buildings here um and i just go from building to building killing the sarnax now the sarnax can spawn it looks like in one of four flavors um oh there we go enthusiast is one of those um yeah so i just go each building has got static spawns although you will see some roaming spawns around you as well but we're just going to go to each location. Uh, these enthusiasts heal themselves. I think one of the other ones tries to cast some dots and stuff, but really, it's not It's not a problem. At 54, some of these mobs are also still giving me experience. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> um, is that clear? Yeah. So this is the first building. That was that mob. There's normally one. There must be a mob here. Oh, yeah, here we go. The party's Andrew, another, another caster. So it's worth so just go through each of these locations, each of these buildings, just clearing out the mobs because it, it, each one has a chance to spawn a, a berserker. Ah, look at that, wowzer! I didn't even know that dropped here. That was the first one. Uh, so, well, this is our first round this morning. This is a terrible, terrible building. Uh, no berserkers at all. But we just keep clearing them. I think it's like the normal six minute. 20 to 30 ish kind of spawn time so you will get you will get aggro from other mobs around here as you as you move around um it can be annoying you will also get more than one sarnak at a time um yeah these knights are the highest level ones i think i think i get experience from these dudes okay so we've got <laughs> been mobbed by three of the buggers once you get them cleared it's not a problem we've got one berserker there I don't need too many more now, and I, I think I put my faction will probably be enough to, uh, yeah, to win essentially. I think I want my pet on on the uh, knight rather than the berserker. Like anything in EverQuest, really, irrespective of what level you are, you know, some of these mobs will give you a real beating if if you get them in multiples. Um, what is my mob? What is my pet attacking? I'm not sure. I think he's on the knight. Yeah, you will get a beating, so you've got to be careful. The other thing as well is you do get dragoons. Um, uh, you will get dragoons here. Uh, for some reason, a couple of dragoons will roam around this location. So if you're a, if you're a good race, 
or your faction's not good, you know, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be in trouble. This is the war braid essentially, this whip that they've got. And it's like hundred percent, so you haven't got any problems there. There we go. That's another one. Done. Uh, oh, another Berserker. That's the thing that EverQuest got right, I think, isn't it? It's even something quite similar. Sim, sim, I say simple. It's quite simple like this. You know, just the excitement of seeing your mob up that's going to have what you need. Um, I just feel that a like, game... Like, the, like the, 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 the more modern... Like the modern retro, modern MMOs that are trying to be retro. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how they, the loot thing goes. I mean, Project Gorgon, I don't mind it. And there are some places you can go to camp what you want. So, yeah, as you can see, the mobs will just aggro you through the wall and all sorts of uh, all sorts of malarkey. Yeah, but there are certain places you can go to get what you want. Certain things, which is okay. But I do prefer this over the randomness of that. Uh, Shadow the Avatars. I think Shadow the Avatars kind of started to add these kind of camps, you know, where you uh, where you know what mob's going to drop what. I'll let them. I'll let them do. Um, I'll let my pet solo that one. He seems to have quite a hefty amount of more, ha amount of hit points. I do, I do kind of lean heavily on my pet, I have to say, with regards to DPS. Maybe I'm going to switch to help him out. Should have been focusing, shouldn't we? Yeah, so I've got experience from that, that guy. Oh, I'm not even, am I attacking? Yeah, I'm attacking. Yeah, it's dark, dark, dark blue, this one. Okay, well, I'm going to chuck myself some healing. Ah, jeez. So what did we get there? Three braids, was it? Two or three braids, I think. So, yeah, I guess on average that's what you can expect going around. My little hill. <laughs> I, hope I, get, I think, I get, I think uh, beetles get great healing at some point. So, but anyway, this is the first part. So look, look, look at the map. Um, just travel slightly, slightly northeasterly from uh, from the Frontier Mountain Zone line. You'll find the number eight location. Yeah, and ju just go for each building. Just just uh, going around killing these mobs. Uh, while we're doing that, we might, I might as well clear out some of these some of these uh, these roamers. Uh, yeah, just go around killing them. You'll get the braids, and then what I'll do is I'll get the braids that I need, and I'll go and show you what what I need to do. Um, what I need to do next. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so we're at Captain Rockgrime in the over there um, outpost. Um, he's got a quest called Protecting the Shipyards. Basically, he wants you to kill the um, the berserkers as we were doing, and you turn in the braids four, four at a time. Um, you do get like a shield, but it's law, so you only get one. I guess if you're a massive noob, um, maybe that would uh, yeah that would help. If you're a new player, first time player. Um, I mentioned previously on the, uh, on the on the first part of the video, I mentioned about the Dragoons that go across there. They do kill steal you sometimes, really annoying. I was fighting some a Berserker actually and they swept through and killed it. <laughs> and killed, yeah, still indifferent. And, uh, and kill steal me. Yeah, that happens. You also get a named um, spawn called Vorash, who's a bit tougher. So you've got to be careful of that. I mean, it took me like, literally, it wasn't very long at all, like two to three hours um, to do that. But it's going to depend on your level and your class. I mean, like the Beast Lord just melts through lower level content, low, low, low level mobs. So, yeah, I could go around k killing them all and be back at the start again before they were respawning. So, yeah. Depends on your how you set up. So I had forty-four this time. Um, 
that's 11 turnings. So it was 10 turnings on the first go, and now we've got 11 turnings here. So this is the 10th turn in this time. Oops. Hang on, Rotty. Don't go wandering off. Still indifferent. No. <laughs> Please let this be the one. I'll have to go back and get a few more braids. No. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got to go, and get, go back and get a few more braids. I thought that would be it, actually, because like 10 turnings. Um, got me there before but yeah I'll go back and then we'll, I'll do that and then I'll go on to the next part of the quest okay so this is what we've been working towards this is the undead foreman in the this is it this this uh, NPC is in the over there outpost as well um, we are amiable that you can't see that maybe because it's too dark we are amiable yeah so all that faction work we've been doing is to get amiable with the undead foreman um, I was only one one turn in of four braids away, which was frustrating. Um, so it took me um, it took me ten plus twelve, so twenty two uh, twenty two turn into four. So um, what's that? Eighty eight braids essentially as an ogre beast lord uh, of Ralosek. Uh, yeah. So if we hail him, he says, um, "An undead foreman turns to face you. You can see a giant." You can, see, no, you can see a faint green glow emanating from his vacant eye sockets. Are you new worker, huh? Speak or go. So if we say, I am new worker. Oh, we'll just go through this bit of text, see what happens. Hmm, too much flesh. If you want to work, you must first fill my eye sockets with my favourite gem. This shall be your payment for, this, for your sledgehammer. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Let's hope it works. You need a jade. You need to give him a jade. Um, if you don't have a jade on you, you can buy a jade from the Tin Merchant 4 in the in the outpost. Uh, the little varmint charged me 7 platinum, 9 gold and 8 silver. And 6 copper. So here we go. Hold your, hold, your, hold everything. Woohoo! There we go. So if you don't know, the worker sledgehammer is basically a teleport for you, which is brilliant. Um... Yeah, it teleports you to the over there. Um, you need to obviously hit something with it, and it's a proc. Um, for someone like myself, as a beast lord, I'm not sure if it's the same on TAC P, but on the over there, sorry, on the on P99, if you, if you slow yourself, you're more likely to get a proc. Um, well, that's how it used to work anyway. But yeah, you just need to hit stuff until you get a proc. And it's handy to teleport yourself out of a dungeon. Um, if you get stuck, I mean, I know like enchanters, you can charm if you're enchanter to do it because when you charm, you get amiable. I guess if you're a bard as well, maybe. Um, if you know someone with puppet strings, you can do it that way, or you can pay for puppet string um, charm. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's I'm, I'm playing a class that kind of melts through, you know, like mobs that are kind of lower than him. Um, well, the sort of level of the mobs that I was fighting. So your money may vary on how long it takes you, but it was like literally two to three hours for me on the Beast Lord. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks to Quell for um, showing me that spot, the number eight spot on the map. I think that definitely sped things up as well. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.